Good morning, good morning. All right, I am late. I'm in, I flew into into Denver late last night. Shah, Supra Shah, how you doing? Jordan, good morning, everyone. How's it going? I'm late this morning. I'm sorry I'm late. It's one of those, one of those crazy days. I was just late, 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 but I'm on, uh, I'm working to set it up in a way that, uh, uh oh, uh oh. Rawr. All right, we can stop that. How's everyone doing? Shaw, good morning. Heather, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I think I'm, I'm working it in one way to get going. I should have just gotten it all right together, but I'm just working it out how it's going this morning. Let's see if I can do this in a way that uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But um, I flew into uh, Colorado Springs last night. And uh, let's see, how do I go? go live, go live now. I'm, I'm working it in whatever way I can. You know, you got to be very, very resourceful in this universe of uh, being a, uh, a cameraman too, right? Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, almost there, almost, almost there. Let's see, let's go live there. Let's see if it works on that camera and this camera. And uh, let's see, live is CNY. All right, I don't know. Am I live? And now we're just, uh, we'll just see if I could get this going. All right, let's see. Dr. Kiltz, I'm, I got the, do the Mighty Tribe working yet? Do I have it? All right, Mathis, good morning. Good morning, Ant Man. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning, Pamela. Good morning. Let's see. I am in the house, but I'm late, and I apologize for being late, late, late. Uh, let's see. We may see the, the 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 mountains show up here. Let's see how we're doing here. All right. One other feed. Maybe we can get this feed to lead. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We're working it one way or another. All right. Beef nachos. How was, was it? Glover, good morning. How are you doing? Let's see. I just have one other one other device to get going. All right. Dr. CNY, Dr. Kiltz. We have uh, YouTube, Facebook. How's everyone doing in France? Lola, how you doing, my friend? A beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, one other, other, other way. Will it work? Will it not work? I don't know now. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm working to kick some booty here to make this live alive. All right. Four, three, two, one. Good morning. Dishydronotic uh, eczema at the can heart of our help. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Carnivore helps with everything. This is the craziness of carnivore. It is like an everything, everything. There's, there's like, it does it all. So I know you're like, well, can, can everyone go carnivore? Everyone can go carnivore. That's the craziness of the story. All right. I was, I was um, reading Baker's book yesterday. We have a few more chapters. And uh, Jonathan, how's it going? I flew with Grant yesterday, Syracuse to Madison, Wisconsin, the Madison, Wisconsin to, uh, to Centennial Airport in, uh, in Denver. And then, uh, and, and went out to dinner at Shanahan's, had a really amazing steak, and um, just blessed every single day. Uh, so thanks for joining me, uh, Jonathan. Thank, yes, uh, the carnivore helps with every single, every single ailment you have. That's the craziness about this, this uh, crazy. And, and this is not quite on, on Amazon yet, but it's coming. And we're always going to be adding to it. That's the beauty of it. It's going to be adding. We're always adding, adding, adding. Sandy Neal, good morning. Good morning, Asia. So, oh, man, I, I got to bed late because I got in late. And so I was just like, I was a zombie. But I think, and I was, well, maybe I won't do it. And then here I am. Wagyu rump off the smoker. Nice. Uh, let's see. Fredina. Let's see. Uh, Ant-Man turned your hair. I get, I, it did, didn't it? Uh, you know, my grandmother went white probably at 40. And Kilsey went white probably mm, at 50. But you know how much work it is to make it this way? Amy, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you home? Oh, Brooklyn. Good morning. Amy Perrin is traveling the world. That's the beauty. A painter, 50 years type 1 diabetic, and carnivore, carnivore, carnivore. 
that's the craziness carnivore all the way right all the way every single day and and uh, you, you know we're learning to do things that are opposite uh, let's see if i can get baker's book up let's see kindle 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 always the kindle there it is chapter eight and then I was studying the human body also. Let's see if I can get this to work. One way or another, we're going to get it to work. I think we get to work. Let's see. The Carnivore Diet by Sean Baker. Guys, got to download it. Get it, get it, get it. Really, really is fantastic. Uh, uh, let's get back there. Let's go to the beginning. Guys are good. Thanks for being there. We're on chapter... Doing this, getting started, characters and studies. Wait, did, let's do this thing. Getting started. All right. Did we do the getting started? Yeah, I think we did get to do the getting started. I think we were going to nine. Good morning from Brooklyn, Amy. Good morning, Sandy, Neil, Jonathan, 5432. You're here. Uh, right on time. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis Henry Mitchell. Yeah, you know, it's like whatever time it is, it's the right time and just get there, Right. And uh, whether you're there at what what moment are you supposed to? No, I think it is. Okay, I'm I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I think. Let's see. It is a chapter eight. Let's do this. Getting started. Concepts. Right. Oh nope. I already did that one. Jonathan Carnivore. Good morning to you, my friend. Let's see. Kills couldn't even remember which which uh, we had amazing steak. I got, um, and, and some oysters, uh, for Grant. Grant, uh, hasn't had these, this steak before. It was an amazing, 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 uh, uh, ribeye bone in and it was black and blue. He loved it. He was just like in heaven. Gail, good morning. Tim, good morning from Texas. How's everyone doing? Let's see if I can get to the, there we go. It's Sean, John, Lewis, uh, Nor Nora, Gail and and Tim Taylor, thanks for stopping in. It's a great morning. Let's see. I think if I have to get off and then back on for the there we go, there we go. Now I can see the morning from Texas and uh, to everyone wherever you're at in this world. What are you thinking? Right, your brain wants to be constantly imagining the beauty of the universe that's been created. Never stop doing that. And and uh, I've been I'm I'm working on this is our next book after we finish finish Baker's book. So I'm throwing it out there as an early bird special. So I'm doing both books right now and we're going to focus on Goggins never finished and never finished, right? Too much to do. It's like too much to do is mean you got a lot to do and you got to keep doing it. Right. Lola, uh, what's app. Do you think about raw meat? Is it, I don't think it's better. Um, and Baker will tell you, just, just eat, you know, kill this is it's ribeye every day. Ribeye, ribeye, ribeye every day. Enjoy the ribeye, right? Uh, let's see. Falma, I am Diana. Let's see. Falmar, I'm in Colorado Springs office today. I've got a few calls to take care of. Uh, I have to get to, I'm on this, I'm on this New York time, as you can see. So I got to get those calls and uh, take care of that. Probably about uh, five or 10 people to call. And then I'm going to see some people in Colorado Springs. So I'm excited about that to see the amazing CNI fertility team. Uh, let's see, Sherelle, how you doing? Uh, good morning. I found uh, I found patience for healing one day at a time. Uh, thank you for spending your time with it. It's my pleasure, by the way. And you have to. So I've got my always have like my journals. Always have my journals. I've got several journals and um, my yellow pad. My brother Ray taught me about yellow pads. Just have it sitting there. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, whether you just sit and do a little writing, you get to the gym, you go on a little bike, you do the elliptical, uh, you do the rowing machine, or you do some good weights, right? Intermittent fasting, uh, if I'm pregnant, I think, Sarah, uh, I think intermittent fasting is really great for everyone, even when you're pregnant, by the way. Lots of helpful information. There are plenty of animals that fast throughout their pregnancy, by the way, and they still make a baby and they lose fat, no muscle, no bone. It's amazing, 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 these ideas of science that most of us have never heard of. That's the craziness, right? All right, Sandy Neal, Jonathan, good morning. Lola, uh, too much to do. And Ripsh, Ripsh, how you doing? To see you every day and hear you. Thank you so much. Let's see, our words of wisdom, right? 
And so much of it is, is simple things like, thank you, God, Lord, creator for the day. Thank you, God, Lord, creator for this day, every single day, which day today, does it matter? Listen, again, wherever you're at in this world, like our ancestors' food, show up, say good morning. Uh, Sami Al Pure Purush Hotma Hotam, Borak, good morning. Sarah Hijack, uh, let's see, Sarah Hickling, good morning. Thank you. And makers mark one and make your mark in life, right? This idea. So, the, the one thing I love about Goggins, Goggins, right? Kilts and Goggins, right? Uh, he's he's on the he's keep moving, moving, moving. He's a doer, but he's sharing his energy. Marla Cat, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Where you are in this world, do something, right? Whether you're mopping the floors, you're cleaning the house, you're rebuilding, you're dismantling, you're manufacturing, wherever you're at, live blissful, joyful, and peaceful, right? Well, Jeff, how you doing, my friend? It's a beautiful, beautiful day in the universe. 420, Chief. Great. Rex, Sarah Jane Cousins, bless us all. Bless Dr. Kiltz. Thank you so much, Dr. Robert Kiltz. And it's either Doc, Dr. Rob, Rob, Roberto, Kiltzy, Rob Kiltz. Again, these labels, and we live with these labels like they're the most important thing. You know, like we've got to get 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 beyond get beyond these labels. Like, oh my God, but but what about this and what about this? Like, you know, like sort of just chill chill it out, right? Just chill it out. And let's see, I'm moving I'm moving my cameras around so I can so I can get to certain things. I've got my my collage of cameras. Let's see here. I'm always looking for so. Uh, let's see. Oh, the Tao Te Ching. Always a great one, right? And let's see if it'll come up on on my uh, on my discover new books, right? Good morning, Merit Varag. Ver, let's see, Vergara. Good morning. How you doing? It's a beautiful down. It's a beautiful day in the universe, right? All right. Let's see. We'll download a sample and let's see if it's going to get me something here or not. I don't know. There are infinite books. But there are just infinite books out there, right? And and nowadays you can get them all on Audible. Um, you could download them right to your device, right? Eat a salad and go back to bed. <laughs> That's it. Uh, uh, but uh, but uh, you know, don't, don't uh, saladino is awesome. But I don't recommend salad, uh, fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, or honey of any frequency or significance. It's not good for us, right? It's not. That's simple. All right. All right. Let's see if I can do this. You guys are amazing, amazing, amazing. Less and less do you need to force things until finally you arrive at non-action. When nothing is done, nothing is left undone. So ultimately, uh, moving on done, you, you don't need to do anything but, but get up, right? Uh, Andrew, how you doing, Marcos? Let's talk for a minute. What you got, my friend? Good morning. Amazing day to be alive, right? It's legendary because Bethany is legendary. Alexandra is legendary. Uh, Sandra Whitlock McDougall is legendary. Uh, Jenny Miller, uh, Kristen Holdga, good morning to you. It's a spectacular day. Quest, so we can talk for a minute. And we'll do it another time. This is my morning live. I'm just sharing thoughts and ideas. I'd love the chat. Uh, just send me a message and we'll, we'll do it offline if you may. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, so what are you thinking? What are you living? What are you doing this beautiful day in the universe? What are you reading? Are you reading something positive, uplifting? Are you focusing on worry, fear, regret, judgment, and negativity, right? Good morning, Scott Kelly. How you doing, Scott? Beautiful day. Good, Sarah. Spacklin, good morning. It's a kiltsy day. Uh, let's see. We want to bring joy every single day in the universe. And there's so much going on in this world that you're thinking, oh, this isn't right. It should never happen. But God's got this in one way or another. And we that's why we'd always come back to faith, right? Faith fixes facts, right? <laughs> Changes everything. And the beauty is you are the fixer of the universe. Good morning. I did lectures all in IUI last cycle and it failed today, day seven after the period and woke up with pain in the left ovary. What do I need to do? Go to the, if you're having a lot of pain, uh, call your practitioner, go to the emergency room. Don't sit around, uh, get it checked. 
make sure it's not an ectopic or something like, wow, how'd this happen? It's one thing you want to make sure. Edward Adams, good morning. Seven weeks, the baby uh, transferred on January 23rd. Uh, Bethany. And, and I do my fertile fireside chats on Sunday morning at 10. Now this week, I don't know, I'm going to be a little challenged because I'm at some meetings in uh, Denver at Low Carb Denver uh, this uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you happen to be here in Denver, uh, stop in and uh, say hi to Kiltsy. Let's see, uh, Amy, again, to you. Good morning. Let's see, where are we at? We've got, um, all right, we have seen my fertility Instagram, the Mighty Tribe, Dr. Kilt's Instagram, and then we have YouTube, Facebook. Thanks for stopping in this morning. Uh, we're, we've been we've been finishing up a Baker's book on carnivore. And let's see if I can bring back uh, Baker's book for a minute. And uh, there's so many great books out there that uh, we're, we're sharing. And uh, keep reading, right? Don't stop reading. Uh, the more you read, the more uh, you grow in life. All right. Studies, 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 and, and uh, anecdotal, anecdotal, anecdata, anecdotal data, right? Persona, persona descriptions, marketing, right? They're marketing a, a, a lie, and we believe it, right? We got the lectures all go to the emergency room, get checked out. Sarah Spackland, thank you. William Woodson, again, thank you. We're bringing positivity to the world, but you've got to start, start with it yourself. It usually is prayer, meditation, visualization. Get on the bike and do a nice bike ride, right? And uh, I'm 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 on, I'm kind of in between New York and Colorado time, so that's why I was a little challenged to get up this morning. Uh, Young blood, how you doing? William Woodson, good morning. All right, what is sort of the the, the pieces of the puzzle? Uh, to, uh, let's see. Sean talked about big gym, kept on gaining weight, gaining weight, all the diseases, pre diabetes, hypertension. Put him on a diet, he loses some weight gets a little bit better, and then finally just says, screw this, I'm not doing this anymore, goes back and gaining weight, needs a doctor, all this stuff. Finally, he finds this crazy shit online of carnivore. Finds this stuff that eats steak, and that's it. Bingo. Uh, he drops uh, 25, 50 pounds, something like that or more. He suddenly, his diseases go away. His doctor is like, wow. This is why I really admire what Sean Baker is doing, Revero Health. So take his, his check his stuff out. And also on uh, Meat uh, RX, and I think it's carnivore.diet. And he's got some really great coaches and cheerleaders. Grams of Proteins does an active 80 year young guy, year young guy, just like me, Wayne. I'm 67. Uh, it's, you know, a fistful of meat a day, maybe two fistfuls. I do about 50 50 protein to fat. That's the way I like to do it. I don't know what a gram is, right? You know, we're, we're visual, right? We're supposed to look in the universe and, and be able to see it and then know it. But all this stuff about measuring and measuring and measuring, I don't know what to do. It's just, it's just too, too hard. All right, let me see if I can do this. I'm going to move on a little bit more. Uh, I always like to move stuff a little bit more. I'm going to see if this will work. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't know if you guys are going to, we're going to get, I don't think we're going to get a, a sunrise here because it's a little early and uh, we're going to, uh, oh, let's see if we got this. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, but uh, it, the idea is, is radically amazing. And I didn't believe it as a physician. Uh, I pretty much uh, ate a Mediterranean, high plant-based, low animal fat diet, uh, lean meat, chicken, fish, turkey, uh, loved salmon. Uh, I didn't uh, eat really ribeye steak. It was always filet, tenderloin. And uh, eventually I had arthritis, psoriasis, kidney stones, migraines, bowel bleeding. I had it all. Edward Adams, good morning to you. It's a beautiful day. Let's see. It's it's uh, 3.30 in the morning in Denver. Uh, I'm actually in Colorado Springs. Risky. Remember, life is risky and you and I are going to die. And uh, but and I felt like I was dying. I, it was terrible terrible bowel bleeding. I mean, hemorrhaging and I had my colonoscopy every year. You're fine. You got bad hemorrhoids. It's okay. Hemorrhoids bad. So finally I found paleo. It helped. Then I found keto. It helped. And then 12 years ago, I went carnivore bingo, everything better. Never, ever felt better ever. Again, it's crazy. The hemorrhoids went away. The bowel bleeding stopped. Uh, kidney stones, migraines, irritability, 
depression, anxiety, criminality, <laughs> anxiety, uh, fearfulness all went away. So now you get to the top of the line, right? And when you do that and all the diseases and big gym suddenly has dropped a ton of weight uh, and, and uh, how, how amazing he felt, right? And so this chapter nine is really about people's example, the, 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 the scientific experiment that is you and only you, right, Jonathan? You're feeling better and I know it, right? Let's see, Al, let's see, Agri, Al, a girl called Danny, how you doing? It is my, my pleasure of taking the time and showing up every day and providing encouragement and support. We need it every day. So the alarm went off and said, oh, my God, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but I also got a call from the emergency room in, uh, in, in, uh, in New York because they had a patient of ours uh, in, the, in the hospital. So I, I said, well, just call me back. It's okay. And, uh, and then I gave her uh, Corley's number because Corley's on call. Will uh, Wilson, how you doing? It's an awesome, awesome, amazing day. All right. This is coming out on paperback very, very soon. And uh, one of the things that I, I've learned in this journey is um, we are lions, not pigs, cows, or sheep. But if you think about it, pigs, cows, and sheep follow leaders. They get in a corral. They're domesticated, right? But lions... Are they domesticated animals very easily, right? You think you got a caged lion, it's now your best friend, right? It licks you, it does all those things, it does the tricks in the circus for a while, and then it eats you, right? You, you never know. You never know when it's going to eat you, and you're going to be done, right? Uh, let's see. Please check Pamela Martino's message above. Pamela, thank you, thank you. You guys, thank you. Carnivore since last month, but my blood pressure has spiked a lot since then. Uh, it's it is still you're likely shedding oxalates for one. You're going to see some. Your body's going to be rebounding. You're going to feel it, right? Listen, when you're doing the heavy lifting and you're feeling the changes, it's going to be painful, right? Just again back to Goggins' book, you know, and we're going to get more into this next uh, next week, maybe. Uh, we're on nine today, and it's really nine is about people's individual stories. And you see this idea that it's science, scientific research, right? And and you got to get to scientific research. I, I think uh, it's it is sometimes it's snake oil because it's manipulated science to sell you an idea. We all do it, and maybe the ideas are sometimes wrong, right, Luna? And that's my, my opinion is that um, you got to be careful of science and you got to look to the, the examples, right? Tell us your example, but stick with it. It'll, it'll clear, Pamela. It will. Be patient and make sure you're adding more fat. And I say spread out the meals morning and night, right? Uh, I try to do mine only in one window at night. And I ate nothing yesterday. I'm on my meat, salt, water, meat, salt, water, anything meat related, animal related and uh, salt and water. That's my meals. And I'm doing it for my 40 days. And I didn't eat, I didn't eat up on Fat Tuesday. Uh, so I'm ready for my 40 day uh, fast. Hi, man. Danielle. Uh, let's see. Danielle. Uh, Jel Miti. Do I have it? Buenos dias, Luna Bacon. How you doing? Bana Alba. Uh, good morning. Seven weeks. So yeah, I think again, you're going to get some some blood pressure spikes. You're going to get some pain here and there. You're going to get some oxalate dumping, but it'll get better. MSW, meat, salt, water. It's a happy life, right? M I, I, I like the MSW, meat, salt, water. And you're meeting salt water because ultimately we're salt water. But the thing that makes you you a cell and then multiple cells is the fat. And then, then you add the sugars on the on the lipids and the proteins, which give the connection. Remember, you really are sweeter than you know because the glycobiome is the reason you're alive. Sugars, right? Rose, how you so true? Grams, like what? What's a gram? A kilogram, right? You know, we see they make it all so complicated. And I know Baker is like, just eat steak. How much steak? How many grams? Like steak. Stake your life on stake, MSW. Let's, Alex, happy life, happy life. Let's see, happy, healthy life. Yes. And that's it. And again, if you're, if you're, if you have a disease, don't let that hold you back from being happy. That's the whole part of this crazy story. 
be happy any way, right? You own the day, you own the life. And remember, you live day to day, moment to moment, right? Uh, but meet salt water is Kiltz's way. I'm, uh, I'm off martinis for at least 40 days and maybe more. Uh, French fries, my ice cream. Can you believe it? I know. Even butter. Although now I'm going to say I put a little bit of butter on the steak last night because for some reason it was a great ribeye, but it wasn't fatty enough. All right. Thanks for stopping in. All right, Jonathan, how you doing? Carnivore changed all in my life. Uh, mental, emotional, physical, and the daily inspirations. Thank you so much. This is the lion's way. Thank you, God, Lord, creator for the day and beat the drums, right? You got to get your box drum and beat the drums or play the guitar, right? Uh, let's see, fear, depression, inflammation, blood pressure, normal, uh, weight, loss, weight loss, doing something new, maybe hard, discipline and consistency, right? Learning and reading since July uh, 2nd, 22nd. Awesome. 22. A couple of days after you stop coffee, right? Everything is better. Butter. Bob, coffee. I've been off coffee now for almost eight months. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, went from pre-diabetic back to normal after months of karma. Remember, plants, bacteria, yeast, microbes, right? All those parasites, uh, plants, plants and microbes are the parasites and they want to take you down and make you fertilizer that's the crazy story, right? It's, you know, this is the plot, a plot by the plants. And you and I have been duped. And then they've they've actually they've actually brought in many people to sort of make summer tombo, good morning, to to make fake meat out of plants. Like, are we like serious? Yes, we are. Great day. Good morning, Joy uh, Giddens and Richie. Good morning. Great day. One month carnivore. And my body feels better. Henry, listen, tell all your friends and family, but don't, you don't have to like, you don't have to be like the vegans and like, you better do this. Just, you know, don't do it because then you'll take charge of your life. You'll feel the very best in life. And then you'll love vegans, vegetarians, Mediterraneans, and carnivarians because what you'll learn as a carnivore, you love the plants and the plant eaters. One is the plants provide the food for our food. And then those people that eat only plants, humans, provide uh, a, a lot more meat for us, right? And they stay meek. All right. Don't forget, to, everyone, join Kiltz's Mighty Tribe Mondays at uh, at 7.30. Um, I'm, I may be off next week. I don't know yet, right? And the carnivore and the, and the beauty of the Kiltz Mighty Tribe and uh, in, in the Kiltz's Carnivore is the meat, the meat uh, uh, pyramid. But I don't even like pyramids and plates and all those stuff because it's once again making a statement that this is it. It's not, right? Salt, organ meats, uh, liver, hearts, and brain. Oh, my God. Uh, high fat, dairy, fats, uh, eggs, uh, non-ruminant meat, uh, uh, duck, pork, fish, shrimp, chicken. But the real one, the foundation of all of it is ruminants, right? Let's see, elk, beef, lamb, goat, deer. But you have to focus on eating the fat, holistic health, right? From Kuwait, good morning, my friend. Uh, however, I want to keep healthy and youth and higher energy early every day. Go to bed early every day. Uh, eat one meal a day is the very best way. Uh, and make it meat, meat, salt, water, right? Best breakfast for uh, to gain muscle is is uh, steak and eggs, bacon and eggs. It's steak and eggs, right? Don't eat fake. You don't need you don't need uh, 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 let's see protein uh, uh, powders. Doesn't make sense. Perfecting saints. Good morning. A beautiful, awesome, amazing day in the universe. One month in, and oh my God, fat faith uh, and feeling fabulous. That is it. Uh, this is uh, the most amazing thing as a physician, right? I'm currently in Colorado Springs. Um, the uh, the Antlers Hotel, um, it's an older hotel, great people, uh, amazing, and uh, I get either a great view of the the of the plains or a great view of the mountains. Today I get the mountains, it's amazing, right? Let's see, Bevy R R Dugan, good morning, and Miss T is feeling better from her gallbladder. Thank you everyone for sharing healing energy. All right, let's see, study uh, by Harvard University. Uh, you can, you can, why carnivore, right? It's, let's see, 
a hundred percent the findings and from 20 2029 participants over six months on carnivore and and, and this is why go to kill dr kills put your story uh go to the mighty tribe put your story right keep it simple and thrive all right carnivore over 2,000 participants, six months on carnivore, uh, 100% of diabetes me medications gone, diabetic injectable medications. Uh, diabetics came off of injectable medications, 19% diabetics came off insulin completely, 84% diabetics came off of all oral medications. Uh, 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 oh, C reactive protein, uh, inflammatory more, uh, dropped significantly, and 90% in, in improved all diseases. And Average weight loss, 20 pounds. Remember, the cause of disease is that you be, have become the prey of the predators, the plants, right? All right, does uh, salmon roe have more DHA for the brain? Look at um, these ideas that you have to measure the D DHA and all this stuff. Um, eat, the, eat the salmon, the salmon roe. That's good for you. Eat the sardines. It's good for you. I don't measure uh, alone for me are too dry to mix salmon roe with a couple of sardines makes them. Oh, that's great. Again, these, the measurement doesn't have enough of this and enough of this, the beauty of carnivore enough of that. It just takes away all this stuff. But, but what about this level and that level? And it's just, and Baker in his, in his book on, on carnivore is like everyone, let's just chill it out. Lions aren't like, show me the paper. Showing the prospect of randomized study. Done with that, right? So yeah, salmon roe is awesome, by the way. Uh, gut full of plants is fiber, a microbrewery, right? All the diseases that you and I have been suffering from are caused by, guess what? Plant-based, low animal fat diet. That's it, right? Plant-based, low animal fat diet. You've been duped to eat cereals and cereals keep you Domesticated, right? Amelia Beach, good morning from the UK. Betty Torres, good morning. Uh, SC3, Stephen, Captain, Carnivore, Conover. How you doing, my friend? Uh, fat loss recommendation. Um, you could do a little bit of protein sparing like Miss Marie Emmerich recommends, but I'd say fatty meat and lift some weights, do some push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, uh, go for a walk. But most important thing, what are you listening to? What are you watching? What are you reading? What are you thinking about? We're going to be doing, let's see. So we're going to be doing never finished next chapter a day, a chapter a day or a chapter, I don't know, chapter a week's way too much. Uh, and we're finishing up, we're finishing up Baker's book on the carnivore diet. Uh, we're just some nice part about uh, uh, the chapter nine it's just a lot of stories of people's experiences, right? So Wayne Kuhn, thank you for that. I like that. Salmon roe is really good. Uh, let's see. Look at bacon, eggs, butter, beef, salt, right? One meal a day. And don't focus on my ice creams are the treat from, I'm sorry, the ice cream with sugar is a treat and my fries are a treat from time to time. That means once a month, right? Remember, it used to be a holiday was like twice a year. Now you've made the amusement park and the, hol and the holiday every day, which is deadly, deadly, deadly. Uh, take a serious nap today. And Richie, I'm going to take a nap today. I'm kind of, you know, my, I, I, I suddenly found myself awake and I was like, okay, oh, it's 3.05. Oh my God, I'm going to do this. Initially, I was thinking, okay, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll just like not do it today or do it later. But then I'm thinking, oh my God, I've now got to, I've got to get on. I've got to do some calls today. I got to, get to the office here in Colorado Springs, see my fertility. So that's it, right? Fluoride keeps you domesticated, of course, right? You know, like all this water that's been been treated by industrial products that are on a railroad track and then roll over and spew toxins to the world. This is crazy, right? Where can we do a Pesa Tessa, Linda Abate? Well, check up with us, but Dr. Trussell in Syracuse, We'll come in and do it in five minutes and we save your sperm. So we can do that. Uh, I take one to three naps a day and the naps are amazing every single day, five to 15 minutes, but it's always, I go down the gratitude attitude, gratitude attitude. That's it, right? Titonov, I've been reading the power of subconscious mind you recommended. Uh, so true. What you listen and read is so important. That's why even if it's 
even if you're not watching or listening or it's in the background, so you're putting the news and negative, negative, negative judgment of the world, it's seeping into your brain subconsciously, right? It's like all the electromolecular energy of the world. You've got to put up the shield, right? You've got to be the strong woman, the man, the human being, whatever you label yourself at it. Go at it, Linda Denton, every single day. The power of the subconscious mind. You have one. Listen, if anyone says, or you keep on saying to yourself, I'm not smart enough. I don't know if I can, I can't do this, or I wouldn't, I, I just don't like to read. My friends, get at it. Get reading, listening to positivity, watching positivity, you know, connecting with positive people every single day, and never, ever, ever, ever give up in this universe. But always give it up to God. That's it. Okay, ice cream, a little sugar, fruit once. Yeah, I think so. I think once a month is okay. Listen, if you don't put sugar, but even a little bit of sugar, some people tolerate it better than others because their liver function is still fantastic. And and I talk about this, and I don't know how well, I I, I think I tried to share it yesterday, that, that ultimately there's a normal functioning liver. Then there's a fatty liver. And then there's a sclerotic liver, liver, and then there's a sura. And then, oop, almost dropped my, my iPad. It's trying to fall off the table. All right, there we go. Then there's a cirrhotic, and there's a then there's a failed liver. And liver transplants are going up and up and up and up and up. And why? Because the high plant-based diet is overtaxing the liver. The liver's main job is to convert amino acids and simple sugars to fat via insulin. But the plant sugars, the microbes in a high lean meat diet is glycating, glycation, right? And then all the fermentation in the gut is sending the toxic chemicals, including alcohol, to the liver. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, my friends, if you're a plant-based eater, you're making alcohol in your liver. So what it does is uh, the, 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 the normal liver is being exposed to lots of, lots of sugars from your plants, amino acids from the lean meat, and then the alcohol is made in the gut, which will then begin to deposit more fat. It'll begin to glycate and damage the liver. Then you'll go to sclerotic liver and you're not like, I don't know what's going on. And then you go to cirrhotic liver and then you may end up in liver failure patients. So now, interesting enough, as these things happen, glucose levels rise because the, because the liver isn't able to quickly convert the sugars to fat. So you have a higher sugar level circulating in your bloodstream. You go from, from normal glycemic to a little hyperglycemic, to pre-diabetic glycemic, to diabetic glycemic, to massively di diabetic glycemic. And then you got start really failing the organs and everyone's organs as the liver damage, the insulin and glu the glucose levels rise, insulin level rises. And insulin's job is to convert sugars and amino acids in the liver to fat. And when you realize that, we're all just being fattened up for slaughter. That's really it. Fattened up for slaughter. We cannot read doctor's handwriting. I know. So it's 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 normal liver, fatty liver, sclerotic liver, cirrhotic liver, and failed liver. Uh, I'll get this printed out and nicer. But as you go from normal to fatty to sclerotic to cirrhotic to failed liver, it's because the plant sugars glycate, the, the amino acids from a high protein lean meat diet glycate, and the fermentation in the gut from the bike microbes that come with that make alcohol, and you're getting alcoholic damage to your liver. So even though you don't drink alcohol, you're making it, right? So uh, here from Colorado Springs, the Antlers Hotel, really great place, amazing people, dessert, oh my God, dessert, uh, Let's see, dessert, rejoice, uh, bless, uh, okay, Rose, I got it, my pleasure. Thanks for, listen, uh, we're working to put all this stuff together in a way that you can see it. I'm working on my next book. We just did the carnivore 
uh, Kiltz's Keto's Carnivore. I'm working on the baby's way and um, working on redoing the living your best life to sort of stretch it out, right? Uh, say that again about alcohol and liver disease. All right, Laura, Laura, it's simple. Alcohol is made in our gut via fermentation of the plants you eat via the microbes that you either take as a supplement or they just come with it. So all the blood flow from the bowels goes to the liver. So we're all thinking non-fatty, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, but it's all alcoholic fatty liver disease because you're making alcohol in your gut which even adds to more damage to the liver. And as the damaged liver function goes down, sugar levels go up, insulin level goes up. It's trying to make the fat and lower the glucose levels, but it can't because you insist on eating a plant-based diet, which is effing deadly. Sorry for my language. Wayne Kuhn, how you doing? Linda Denton. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Do you know Dr. Gabriel Lyons, who is big on muscle skeletal strength? She recommends first meal to get more or less 40 grams of protein the first meal. Listen, eat the fatty meat and stop trying to measure things. If you want to bulk up, yeah, I guess eat more steak. Eat more steak and eggs, right? And lift the weights. But you don't have to be bulky to be healthy. You just need to move and do something today and every day. Right, Alex? Uh, ice cream, uh, once a month, can we eat? Yeah, look in. you got to taper it yourself, right? Um, for some people, uh, uh Cow's milk products are not well tolerated. You might try A2 or raw milk. Um, I do cream, eggs, a little bit of white sugar, vanilla, and salt. Amazing, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, does a couple of alcoholic drinks do much harm every seven days? I, you know, again, no one knows that answer. You know, we're wanting some, let's see, alcohol, coffee, and tea have some adverse effects on you and me. That's it, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Carbon, Carbon, good morning. Let's see. Uh, 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 sphincterectomy and bile ducts blocked. You know, sp uh, 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 sphincterectomy ate high carbs for eight days after carnivore for three years. Listen, you now listen, a small amount of something might be the deadly thing. But my dad is, interesting enough, white cane sugar beet sugar, not even honey, okay? It's It's got too many other components from the plants that like the pollens, which are highly antigenic. I bet you can't get all the pollen out of the honey, right? And so I'd say the plants, you can do a little bit of white sugar, but even the berries and fruit, they will bury you deep in the ground because they want to make you fertilizer. Edmund Coleman, how you doing, my friend? Good morning. Is the, is the portion of dessert, it's, oh, you know, I mean, I do a cupful, a little bit, maybe every once a week or every two weeks. Now I'm on my 40 day, none of it. And who knows if Kilts is going to go off of it. But you you pick it out. You know, how are you feeling? How are you doing? Are you building strength and building muscles or are you feeling down and depressed? Well, again, sugar is glycating and sugars could damage you. And this idea that simple sugar is bad, um, you know, again, Here's, here's like some of the healthiest stuff you can do, right? It's simple. And I like, you know, I like the spiral bound because I like to open my books like this. I think we're talking about whether just to make them in spiral bound, but I think you'd make the choice uh, in all of this. So, but the ribeye, the ribeye steak, you know, the steak, right? Uh, vitamin D3, B12, taurine, crenitine, car carnosine, carnitine, heme iron. Uh, plant irons are not uh, easily uh, uh, digested or absorbed, and DHA will be the way, right? And so, uh, again, the, the Amazon paper copy is coming soon, soon, soon. Uh, let's see. It's amazing that folks can communicate with you live in real time. Think we are living. We're living in paradise, Wayne. Absolutely. That's the beauty of this. You know, that's why it's 5 a.m. every day. Uh, I don't always, you know, it's like now it's 3 a.m., but it's now 3.52, so we got about 10 more minutes. Edmund Coleman, Alex, thank you for stopping in. Uh, appreciate everyone. A little bit of ice cream. Again, even if it's store-bought, make sure it doesn't have this, the, all this. It's, it's Really, it's got cream, eggs, uh, maybe some butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of white sugar, and some vanilla. That's what I love. But some people can't tolerate all those things. Sphinct, uh, a sphincterectomy and bile ducts blocked. Uh, that's when I think Tia had a little inflammation and sphincter spasm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Daniel, thanks for stopping in. 
Mohammed, how you doing? Fred, Neurotic, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Uh, Luis, Carlos, good morning. Uh, uh, Lendo, Lendo Star, uh, let's see. Thank you very much for all your comments. And we're here to live. See, we're on the positive side of life. And every time you think negative of someone else, guess who it's hurting? Look in the mirror, it's you. That's like, really? Yes, 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 yes. Ben Wu, how you doing? Let's see, what should you eat? I mean, this is kind of the simple pictures and stories, right? And if you want to have three meals a day, go at it. In the early stages of carnivore, eat three to six meals a day. But when you get really to the side, it's one meal a day. Annette Roper, how you doing? Chicken, not a popular protein on carnivore. There's not enough fat, right? But if you add the fat and really use, eat the organ meats and the skin and the fat, but add some butter, uh, Annette, that'll help a lot. Uh, and yes, but get some burgers um, and throw in some organ meats. Really great. Our ancestors' foods, thank you. God bless and love all the uh, inspiration you spread among all of us every day. Every day. Look, I'm just, I'm just another human being. I could run 100 miles if I wanted to, uh, or I could be on the couch and watching TV all the time. It's your time of life, right? If you're not doing what you want to do, guess who the blame is? You, right? But interesting enough, if you're a plant-based eater, I think you're more domesticated and easily followed the way to keep watching this stuff. Let's see. Uh, when alcohol drink says two, uh, two grams of carbs, but says cane sugar, then not good. Uh, alcohol drinks say two grams of carbs, which says cane sugar. Laura, uh, let's see. So look at, you're going to, you're a human being. You might have a, a drink of alcohol from time to time, a little bit of, of carbohydrates from time to time, but you want to minimize to maximize and eliminate in some cases. Interesting enough, even simple sugar might be better than complex sugars. That's my bet. And it's a tough one to believe, but they just digest, say they're taken into the bloodstream, taken to the liver faster. Insulin goes up faster and the insulin is able to convert it quickly to fat in the liver, lowering the glycating troubles of those damn plant sugars. You see, the plant sugars are deadly of any significance or frequency, but in some cases it's going to cause an anaphylactic reaction and take you down fast, right? The sun is coming up back here. Uh, awesome. On the East Coast, let's see. I'm 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 facing west here. I got the I got the mountain view at the Antlers Hotel. Uh Ben Wu, thank you for stopping in. We got a few more minutes. What are you reading? What are you listening to? What are you watching? What are you immersing your life in, right? So what you immerse your life in is the environment, right? It's the outside environment that comes into the conscious and the subconscious mind. And then, you know, it's the it's the dust, the pollen, uh, the toxins in the air, the industrial the toxins, which you're breathing, right? A lot of asthma, a lot of other damage and disease from the plants and the, and the degradation of the plants. And then it's the food, right? What are you drinking? What are you eating? Uh, that's gonna have an adverse effect. And uh, I suffer for years. Uh, uh, Fatty, sugar-free yogurt. No, I don't believe there's such a thing as sugar-free yogurt because it's it's made from milk. Milk contains sugar, so they may not have added sugar, but typically they make it out of sh it's all it's all sugar. That's it. That's it. Paradise, uh, Annette. Thank you. Uh, why is we got that one? Amazing that folks can communicate. It is Edmund Coleman. Good morning, uh, Wayne Kuhn. Uh, does a couple of alcohol drinks. Harm. I don't think a little bit from time to time. I don't think a little bit of cookie cake or ice cream or salad or fruit or vegetables from time to time. My concern is all the time, every day, right? Don't do it every day. Listen, minimize to maximize changes your life, right? And uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, let's see. I am priest. Pre let's see. I am priest. Priest. S-N. Is that right? Do I got it? Let's see, understood, aspartame. So I, again, I don't do the fake sugars. I just do cane if I'm going to do it. Um, cane or, 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 or beet sugars, I think. But I don't, like, like, this one bag of sugar will last for five years. That's how little I use it, right? But again, some people at the point, like, mm, I'm going to throw it out. I'm on my 40 days. Here's day, day one of 40. Uh, it's it's uh, meat, 
uh, meat, salt, water. And we're made of salt water, right? Rebecca Phelan, how you doing? Ovadia. Yeah, Jack Case, you got to check out Phil Ovadia. I'm going to do, oh, let's see. I'm, I'm in Vail. The, where's my, my calendar? Where's Kiltz's calendar? Let's see. Let me get Kiltz's calendar here. Uh, there we go. I'm in Vail, Colorado. Uh, March 12th is my 67th celebration of turns around the, uh, the sun, right? And, um, and then on the 12th, my birthday, Sunday, I'll be in Denver, no, Dallas on the 10th, 11th, 12th, Vail on the 10th through the 18th. Uh, I'm doing an interview with Ovadi on the 16th. I think it's going to be recorded with its kids' channel. Phil Ovadi, uh, stay off my operating table. It's amazing, right? Good morning. A couple of alcohol drinks do too much. No, a little bit time to time, but rare times, right? We can communicate to all of us all around the globe. Sylvie, how you doing? Sylvie Roy? Good morning, Tampa. How's it going? Podcast with was Phil. Uh, with Phil Vadi was my favorite. Thank you. He's great. I just love. I listen. Phil Vadi. Uh, I was like admired. I never really read much of his stuff, but I saw him. I heard about him. I met him in Costa Rica. I, I met. Um, I met Sarah uh, Zaldivar, Ken Berry, uh, Bella Ma, uh, Kelly Hogan. Uh, so many amazing people. So Ben, what? Thank you. Sixty-seven. Never felt better. So this is my one meal a day for 40 days. It's my meat, salt, water. Um, what am I going to do on March 12th? Do I get a, get a piece of chocolate cake? I don't know. I love my mom used to always make me chocolate cakes, my favorite. Now one of my favorites is Wegmans Ultimate Chocolate Cake, right? So fatty, fatty, flavorful, and filling. I mean, this is the master meal. Now, if you get ground meat and ask your butcher, they throw away all the fat. It's trash, but you want to get to the butcher that's actually cutting the fat off and say, I'll take all those scraps. See, the fat suppresses inflammation in your bowels and it's the fuel for your body. So when you eat the fat, it suppresses inflammation and it's the fuel. Now your liver can rest. See, you want to rest your liver a little bit from all of this, this amino acids excessively and all these plant sugars it's got to do the work, right? Dark chocolate, bin with, yes, a little bit. Again, listen, this is not meant to be a, 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 a suffering life, right? Don't need to suffer, right? See the beauty that God has given you and I every single day. All right. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Eastern time. I'm going to work it out one way or another. If I'm shifting it, I'll let you know. I love you, my friends. Let's see. It's uh, Wednesday, hump day. All right. It's day one of 40, uh, meet salt water, and uh, have an awesome day. Keep checking out Kiltsy. Love you, my friends. Love you, love you, love you. Thanks for stopping in. All right. Thanks, Bar uh, Barris. Thanks, Chocolate. Yes, it does have some oxalates. That's why every day. Again, you got to minimize. Remember, a low oxalate foods. So Sally Norton is low oxalate foods. Well, if you only have a little bit of a little high from time to time, I, again, you may find it fine, right? Let's see. Bin Wu, I like it. Thanks for stopping in. See you guys tomorrow morning. Take care.